we're out here with the Evo. They had an update. It's... I always have to write these updates down on these little post-it notes because I got so many quad covers, I can't possibly remember all these damn numbers, man. I just, I just can't do it. I'm too old. I'm old geezer. 1.3.46. I haven't flown it since this update. I think this update's over a month old. But I haven't had a chance to fly it or anything. So let's start some video. How about that? It's a little bit breezy out here. I was kind of surprised. It was calm earlier when I was flying the Femi. So let's take it for a little quickie here to see how it's how the update's doing. Okay, well I have this one set at, we're going to go out here, we're at 300 meters now, so. It's a little bright on the sun, I'm trying to take it right to the edge of that field. I'm at 450 meters. Five hundred and thirty seven meters, which is I don't know how many feet that is. I'll figure it out later because I still have this one set at metric. Kind of try to dodge these houses here, man. I got it. We gotta dodge the houses, okay guys. As much as I possibly can. Now I'm 200 meters away, I can see the Evo. The, the Evo is easy to see. I don't know why, I don't think it's the orange, because the orange is on top, but I usually never have any trouble seeing this thing. It should be, I'll be coming into view here in a minute. There's the car. There's me, now you can start hearing it. There I am. I'm bringing it down. Okay, so, yeah, flew good. You know, I come and make these update flights. I just hope that she, the stuff's not broken. I think I say that on every video, but that's what I'm hoping for, okay? Now the obstacle avoidance is starting to get noticeable here, so. Yeah, so it flew well, man, flew well. I still got 18 something minutes of battery life left. Oh. Yeah, 
Yeah, the Evo is uh, performing well. Yeah, I got one little gripe about this thing, the controller. When you're holding it, it kind of folds in. It tries to fold in on you. And that's kind of annoying. So, you know, I'm not, I'm not really digging that. I mean, it's a nitpick, okay? It's, it doesn't affect the flight performance at all. I mean, this thing is one of the sweetest quadcopters out there. I mean, I mean, in all seriousness, this thing is, this thing is as nice as it gets, man. I am not complaining, trust me, okay? So don't think I'm complaining because I'm not. Not in the least. That 10 meter spot that I picked out, which is 30 feet. So, like I said, I'm just trying this out. I don't know if I've ever actually tried this or not. So, we're trying it. It helps if you have some kind of, you know, something to actually orbit, like a Statue of Liberty or something like that, you know. I got the, a field of grass and some dudes playing basketball over there. So, but it works at least, and it doesn't, and it's not hard to set up, you know what I mean? It's not difficult to get going, so. All right, so that works. They don't have a whole lot of uh, flight modes on this thing. But at least I tried it. Maybe I should do this over at the old, uh, at the old, um, at the river and the factories and stuff maybe that would be better to do it over there I could orbit around one of the factories or something like that you know I think that would probably be my best bet there we stopped the video we're gonna land so I can run home and do another firmware update oh here was the other one that it had it had this missions thing and I'll try that when I put the next firmware on, so we'll just, I'm not hand catching the Evo either, so that's not happening. Okay guys, that's it. Enough is enough. Enough TDR for today. Alright guys, have a nice day. I'll talk to you later.